Dark Court Dress to Impress. All right, welcome to Dark Court, and a special feature we call Dress, dress to, to impress. impress. This is a special one for you guys. Know I collect movie props, and Walker uh, has his own small collection going. This actual outfit that I'm wearing, Commander Koenig's bit from Space 1999, is done by Charles Gordon. We should put a link up for him because this thing's incredible. It looks exactly like the Martin Landau suit. Uh, but we're doing this first. September 13th, 1999 was when the moon blasted out of the Earth's orbit. And uh, so we got, Walker's gonna show the spacesuit. We love Adam Savage with his spacesuits and stuff. We actually sold Adam his very first spacesuit that he used on uh, the Discovery Mythbusters show. He souped it up, it looks great. Nostrum Costumes from Temecula, California, did the base suit for him, and that was his first bit. And then, now he's gone insane. But he doesn't have a Space 1999 suit. Uh, why don't we suit you up? All right, let's do what this. What do you think, is it hot? Yes, I'm already hot. I'm <laughs> hot just by putting on my right boot. All right. All right. Uh, let's, let's put on the backpack. Oh, really, we're doing that first? Yeah. I think we like start off small with the gloves. But okay. No, gloves after. All right, what do you think? Now this suit was. Oh, that's heavy. Is it? <laughs> this suit was made by Ed Marecki, who worked on the 1995 Judge Dredd. Uh, he's pretty well known in prop prop circles. Um, there we go. Oh my God. What do you think as we're doing it? Can you imagine being an actor in 1975? Doing no, this. they must. No, I can't. <laughs> Working under the hot lights. Oh, <laughs> what's wrong? What's the part? Never mind. Oh, it's pulling on your dad's genitalia area hurts. <laughs> my genitals, they don't feel. Oops, my genitals don't feel good. <laughs> All right, Commander. The suffering that we have to do. Or, uh, That's on my butt. Here, lift, lift up your thing a little. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now it's just slightly. It above is. You know what's incredible? You're a little too big for this. That's, yeah, I mean, when I was putting amazing. my sleeve on, it was like pulling up my butt. Oh, that's on my butt. All right. No, I know. You're good. All right. Let's. Uh, what are some other things? In terms of comfort, do you remember when it's I made? It's not very comfortable. Remember when I made you watch uh, the first. Uh, episode of Space 1999, Break, I, Breakaway? I do. Right, let's pick that in. Oh, look, you're sealed in. What did you think of that show? I mean, it was pretty good. For its time, you're not a big fan of old stuff. Right. There you go. Wait, no, I can't. Here, wait. Just help me. Could you pull my glove up, please? Sure. No, you're Here, good. Here, right, no, I got it. Okay. You're good. <sighs> wow, well, look at this. I'm going to have to... Oh, wait. Well, that's hanging out. Well, there's a crotch piece that I don't think it's going to fit you. It goes a lap, laps around underneath. Here. Oh, that's fine. To keep this from lo letting up. Yeah. Don't bend over too much. Look into the camera. Step back a little bit. There you go. Should I put on a right. helmet? Yeah. So. Oop. That's your gun. I think it was only the first episode where they had these Nomex hats. Take my glasses off. Oh, you're good. <laughs> That's really loud. <laughs> Hello. All right. There you go. Now, do you remember any of the any of the stuff from the episode? Nope. I just remember one scene, and I don't really remember it. It's like a picture. <laughs> you know what, most kids, when I was your age, when I was 13, if my dad was sit, hooking me up in a, on a space suit, I would have lost my mind. <laughs> All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, my thing. <laughs> All right, here. Oh. Call for help. There's dust in my mouth. Is it too dusty? There you go. There's a good feature. All right. September 13th, 1999. It's lunar time. <laughs> this is 
is an Ed Marecki suit. Uh, oh yeah, good, that's perfect. I did say that about all Ed. Oh look, zero G. He's got the space madness. <laughs> no matter what, you can dress to impress. <laughs> we didn't hiccup up your air, man. <laughs> all right, here we go. What do you think? <laughs> I think we should put some Febreze in there, not air. Well, it has been in my collection for how old are you? 13 years. I got this six months before you were born. So, uh, imagine how your feet smell. <laughs> my feet smell amazing. All right. Huge fan of Space 1999. I love the design. I love everything about it. And I don't care who knows it. I know it doesn't get a lot of respect, but it's a great show. What do you think? What do you think about the design? Talk about like if you were an actor. Very clunky. It's clunky. This is how spacemen try and walk up the stairs. Oh, wait. You know what? I'm doing it upside down. There you go. Oh, that's going to be... Uh... <laughs> Terrible edit to make. <laughs> Just say it again. No, it's fine. I'm a great editor. You get a dark heart reaction. Uh, I, I I need to go to a meeting with my friends on Earth. Love you. That went about as well as we expected. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you figure? I need to take this thing off. Yep. Good, Good luck, luck everybody. everybody.